everybody. Um, welcome to this segment of Money Mailbox, where we're going to be talking all about misconceptions when investing in real estate. This segment's really important because there's a lot of preconceived notions when it comes to real estate investing that we want to be able to harness and overcome to get you started in investing with your very first property. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about some of the main terms that you've probably heard of. It's market crashes, maintenance issues, phone calls, or even the tenant that potentially would trash your house. So first, let's start by debunking some of the common misconceptions about real estate, and then also pairing that with some realistic expectations about what real estate investing entails. And we all know that there's always gonna be risks to anything. Um, you could walk right outside and get hit by a bus, and then we could categorize that as risk. So it's also important to compartmentalize what exactly risk is and what is just being a little bit too overly cautious. So when you think about risk, you could also associate that with other investment vehicles such as stocks or cryptocurrency, mutual funds, or even being an angel investor in a business. All of those inherit risk. But we would probably argue to say that investing in cryptocurrency gives you more risk than investing in something that is like a bond. So it's about balancing that risk and reward factor of what is gonna get us the highest rate of return, but also mitigate risk and make it something that is worth your while that you feel very comfortable with. So think for yourself, what are some of the systems that we could potentially set up for your rental property in order to run it in the way that you would like to, to help you get into house number one? 